Nagka-kim ko like ako noon, kulay puti, yung 125cc na carb, which I owned for almost 2 years. Mahirap matanggal sa alaala ko ang kim ko like, dahil dyan ako sumemplang. Ang taon, 2011. Ang nangyari, eh paakit ako sa antipolo, papunta ako sa trabaho bilang uh, voiceover ng Jack TV. Oo, ako yun. Next on Jack TV. Next on Survivor Nicaragua. Umakakit ako doon mga 3 times a week. Isang beses, nadatnan ako ng malakas na ulan. Eh, ang arte ko. So, tinanggal ko ang gloves ko para di mabasa. Tinuloy ko ang pag-akit ko sa isa sa mga villages doon. Mabagal lang naman. Nakatapat ko, lumot. Diyan ko natutunan na wala tayong laban sa lumot. Kahit may the best ABS traction control ka pa of the universe. Semplang abot ko. At dahil tinanggal ko yung gloves ko, ayun, to sino boys ang kamay ko. Pero okay na ako ngayon. Mind you, it wasn't the scooter's fault that I fell down. It was an accident. Hindi ko matake na hindi na mukhang bago yung Kim Kulay ko noon. So, pumunta ako sa dati nilang headquarters noon sa multinational village sa Paranaque. At doon ko pinapalitan ng lahat ng plastic panels. At doon ko na-appreciate na itong motorcycle company na ito na 10 taon na na nasa atin bansa ay kompleto sa piyesa at maaasahan sa paggawa ng mga motor nila. My like was good as new. It's like nothing happened. So with this in mind and my good experience with the scoot, na excited ako sa bagong Kim Ko Like. It's like visiting an old friend na umasenso sa buhay. Okay bilis ng panahon. Okay bilis ng pag-improve ng motorcycle technology. At a glance, what do we have? Electric start, ABS, disc braking system, both wheels. I will be talking about that more later on. For the gauge, it's full digital. It's got a new chassis, new suspension. It is automatic, fuel injected, Euro 4 compliant. It's got lightweight aluminum rims. Let's talk about the seat height here for a second. The Asian market has the lower version, while Europe would have the higher stance. The European version is at 790mm, while the Asian version is at 770mm, for a difference of 20mm. Pretty sizable difference there. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice in the matter and Kimco Philippines will only supply the lowered version. Now, if I were to give my two cents in this, I think it would be cool to have a choice. I mean, if you want to go for the higher one or the lower one. Like for guys like me, I'm 6 feet tall. Giving the customer a choice to better suit their riding experience keeps the shopping within Kimco, right? And Jane, eh, may choice eh. Pwedeng, oo oh, oh, sir, gusto mo mataas, mababa, ika nga ni SM, we have it all for you. Some of the other things I noticed about the new like, obviously the headlight is what's making it nice and modern. That little segregation over here, medyo uso rin siya ngayon sa mga modern motorcycles. If you saw my Aikma video in Italy, a lot of their bikes over there, the higher displacement, Kim Kos, ganyan na rin yung style niya. So, ayos siya. Quality, this is pretty good. Nice and thick. Even the chrome, it doesn't seem to be that plasticky type of chrome. Alam yung parang cheap chrome. Let's take a look at uh, some storage space here. Okay, this is pretty roomy. If you're gonna store things here, make sure hindi siya maselan with heat. Napansin ko, this would be collecting heat to solve that issue. Kasi even before, yun din problema ko sa Vespa, may init yung loob. Ngayon, kung meron akong pagkain na gusto ko mainit sakto ng lunch, de, hindi problema yan. Pero if you're leaving like a laptop there or a phone, syempre mapapaisip ka if you wanna leave some electronics in that type of heat. So what I would do, I take this thing out, I pull it out. Tapos sa labas, babaluta ko siya ng heat insulator, yung shiny na may foil. And that does a good job in keeping the engine heat out. It's gonna be a lot cooler. So this play for me is just right. Hindi siya sobrang luwag. Dropping it, nice resounding click. This part over here, that's the kind of space you have there. It's enough for your phone, maybe a little sandwich and paperwork. Rumi din naman. Let's just check this. I think um, Kimco adjusted this already. Because when I initially visited the plant and it was the same unit, sometimes ito hindi nagsasarap mabuti. But I think it was just a little adjustment on this part over here. Kasi ngayon, it's, it's working fine. Okay, <laughs> lang. And here is where the gasoline is. So putting the gas here as opposed to in the seat just frees up more space here, right? And dito ne, nice improvement for the like too. Ito naman, you can't just slam it. You have to open it so it's nice and fixed. Tada! It's me! The new Kimco Like is just one of the most high-tech scoots I've ever seen. If you look at all these different modes, you got your odometer, you got your trip A, you got your trip B, you got your oil, kung kailan mo gusto siya palitan, and same with your belt. Like for example, the oil, di ba? Press these too long, 
go back to zero. So, palatandaan mo na oil. It's very specific, di ba? So, kung nag-1,000 na siya, palit ka na ulit. Same with the belt. Hindi ko na ito papalitan. But basically, if you want to change your belt, 10,000, di ba? You can reset it para specific. That for me is an interesting tool kasi hindi mo iniintindi kung yung trip A mo yung assign mo sa change oil or yung odometer mo, babantayan mo, di ba? That's really cool. I, I really think that's nice. And I haven't seen that in any other scooter yet. Here you have, basically, that's your speedometer. You got your clock here. And this thing here, this the scroll up or down and you'll see the different modes. Mackie and Justin, they're here to explain the technology called Nudo. Una, nagulat ako. Nalingin niyo na picture ko. <laughs> Closing this app, the Kimco Nudo. Kimco Nudo app. Yeah. You download the App Store and Google Play Store. Ang Nudo, ang features niya, navigation, you can customize your panel. Yes. Kaya nga may picture tayo dyan. Yes. Oh, this man. one is navigation, sir. Mapa talaga, no? Yes. Talaga may, may kali eh. Meron, sir. Uh, estimated time, the distance, weather, phone battery. Then you can check the top view. Mm, wow. napaka wife friendly nito. Kasi yung asawa mo, hindi ko wala ka ng palusot eh. Hindi ko pwede mawala. Nakakim ko like eh. Ano naman to? Ah, uh, ito yung nearby mo. Like gasoline station. Gasoline station, food station. Wow. Taka, ano naman to? Weather. Is weather. The clock, the weather, the speed, the compass. You can design this one, sir. Wow. Sobra high-tech. You guys are very information savvy. And I think to date, you guys are talagang literal pinaka-high-tech na scooter na nakita ko so far, ha, na ganyan. Now, compared dun sa labas dito sa ginamit ninyo ngayon, that is basically the same body, pero wala siyang nudo tech. Pero same engine. Yes, same engine. Pero totoo lang, kung nakanudo na kayo, para na kawalang gana gumawa ng ibang like eh. Good job, Kimko! Dahil pwedeng gawin, nakakaliw. I believe this gauge is one of the most forward-thinking things that Kimko has done in this price range and in this displacement. However, let me start this. If we were going to request Kimko to improve on something is this one. Yung safety sa side stand, wala siya. So, they should add this as a safety feature. Bakit? Kasi nandiyan ka na eh. May ABS ka na. Sobrang high-tech na ng gauges mo. And parang dito pa nabitin. Pero all things considered with all the other safety features that the bike has, okay na rin. Pero man, if you put this thing there, parang talagang kompleto na talaga sa safety, di ba? On the seat naman, it's gonna be a bit generous as you go to the rear. The front gets a bit more taut. And dito yung sakto, because this is where most of the weight will come in. And then on the side, this is where it tapers off. Mas konti na yung foam mo dito. Pero malapad naman siya. I'm not really complaining with the seat. I think it's a pretty good seat. Quality of the upholstery, the quality is okay. It's just that the shade with this gray, I would probably get a different type of shade. Perhaps a deeper, darker maroonish color. Shade aside, quality naman of the vinyl is not bad. Now, one of the more striking improvements from the old Kim Kalike is the frame. The bi-beam chassis rocks! It's more rigid, it's firm, and more stable. And this translates well with this exclusive thing Kimco developed called SSC, Horizontal Engine Support Frame. This actually balances the weight transfer between the engine and the frame. Pag nag accelerate ka. Get it? When you move forward, some of the energy transfers from one point to the other. Now, this design prevents that lifting effect, and that will improve the comfort of your ride. As it is, scooters are very, very easy to maneuver in bad traffic and uh, it's the best way to go around the metro. Wanna save time, small bike. Hi on how my legs are, how long my legs are, and baba ba legs natin. I did notice when I'm too near the front, my knees end up hitting. When I'm sitting, it kind of forces you in the mid position of the scooter. And when I turn, this lower part here is hitting my knee. Left side, wala naman problema. It's not hitting anything. Good clearance. So this issue is going to be for those who are as tall as me. I am 6 feet tall. So yung length ko between my knee and my foot, and yung medyo mahaba sa akin, among other things. <laughs> if you're as tall as me, and this is an issue when you're turning, pinagawa ko, maatras ako ng konti. Although your butt's gonna be sitting on this side already. So pag naatras ka naman ng konti, hindi na siya tumatama. Maluwag na siya. The newly designed 4-valve technology engine has an increase of 1.4 kW. It's smooth and linear throughout the power band. Now, I've only had this scooter during the break-in period. Ika nga ng ibang fellow Kimco-like owners, may iluluwag pa yan. True enough, at this early stage of the engine, the power output felt friendly, nice. Huwag kayo maghahanap ng barumbado, maginoo yung like, at hindi bastos. Steady lang, takbong bahala kayo sa buhay nyo, basta ako, retro scoot, di ko kayo kailangan. Ako ang sabi ninyo. Ganyan ang dating niya. This scooter also is very very quiet. 
Helical gear in the transmission reduces gear running sound. A bearing tensioner design also reduces possible cranking noise at higher RPMs. And yung low frequency noise niya coming from the intake is actually confined in a resonance compartment. So, nabawasan din yung tunog doon galing sa intake. Tahimik talaga yung bagong like. According to the Kimco USA website, the light gas consumption hits around 85 miles per gallon or 36.172 kpl. I got 33.243 kpl. Now this is still in braking mode. Meron din ako ang kas nyan at medyo walwal tayo. Open throttle, uphill, traffic, the works. Now back in the day, 30 plus kpl is all the rave. And I feel that maybe this is where Kimco should probably up the ante a bit because its contemporaries can already hit 40 kpl and above. The handling and ride of the Kimco also has a significant improvement. The gas tank is situated in front and under the floorboard. This means it's got a lower center of gravity and that means better handling. Mas madiin at lapat. Suspension compared to the old like is firmer and more planted and does a good job soaking in the bumps and ever-changing topography of our metro roads. Much better than the old I must say. It's got traditional telescopic forks at the front with a max travel of 95 mm. At the rear it's a dual three-stage shock absorber with pre load adjustment and a max travel of 86 mm. Those are pretty good numbers and that means ang kaspa more kaya kaya. Now one of the things that I really really like about the scooter it's the braking system. It's got a 220mm disc at front and a 200mm disc at the rear. Both wheels have ABS and I'm like yeah. Try out the brakes so the like. Okay let's start with the rear first. Front ABS is working beautifully. Oh wow, you know what? This is one of the best brakes I have seen in the small displacement bike. Damn, galing! This thing can save your life. No problem, galeng. Husay, husay. Good stopping power for those two 12-inch wheels, and I must say it's pretty impressive. Kimco is the number three motorcycle brand in Europe. Being number three in an industry of many, many brands in a market very conscious with styling and quality says a lot from this growing company from Taiwan. They threw out previous notions about Taiwanese-made bikes out the window. I mean, they were just spearheading that movement. They are the largest motorcycle manufacturer in their country and fifth worldwide. Pero pagdating sa benta ng motor, ang labanan is in Asia. Here is where they look to up their game even more and dominate. Now, with this new Kimco like, they are making a statement na eto na kami. Kaya namin kayo bigyan ng world-class product with ABS on both wheels, Nudo technology, has Euro 4 standards sa presyo 119,900. The non-nudo version is 98,800. Ayon, between the two, dun na sa nudo version. Konting tumbling na lang eh. Diba? Clearly, this is the most high-tech scooter Makina has encountered this year. Hindi siya yung pinakatipid sa gas sa mercado, but it's arguably the safest in its class. If you are into retro scoots while moving forward with technology, then owning the all-new Kim Kolaik will be a definite treat for you. It's got almost everything. This is Zach from Machina Moto Features. Ciao!